Hong Kong Disneyland has continued to lose money, with COVID blamed for the deficit in the last financial year. But the theme park is confident of a recovery as it prepares to operate all week and launch a new section based on the Frozen movies. Macy Mock reports. Hong Kong Disneyland remains in the red for the eighth year running, losing $2.1 billion for the year ending last October. But it was 12% less than in the previous year. COVID was blamed as the theme park welcomed visitors for only half the year because of mandatory closure. With social distancing gone, the Magic Kingdom is looking ahead to better days. And we don't have a crystal ball on where the market is going or how fast it is recovering. But what I can say is right now is that we are better than the market. And the market is recovering, but we're, we need to do better than that. So we are, we are on, our, on our way, I think. Despite COVID, visitor numbers surged 22% from a year earlier to 3.4 million, most of them locals. Revenue jumped 31% to $2.2 billion. The park currently opens for five days a week, but is set to extend it to six or seven days by the middle of next month. It's seeking more cast members and plans to recruit 1,000 people. Moriarty says there are no plans to ask shareholders, including the Hong Kong government, for money to support the business. Its expansion includes reopening Hollywood Hotel in July and launching the World of Frozen in November. Maisie Mock, HKIBC.